Right then guys, so we are 30 days out from my first ultra. So we are going to take you along the ride. Okay, bring you along with us all the way up until the actual day itself. Um, I have somebody coming out with me that can record it. So we're going to turn that into like a little bit of a movie. Um, but I'm jumping on today to talk about breaking in my trail shoes. All right, now I run on the road in my ASICS Noosa trainers. Um, I haven't got them on me at the moment. I currently left them in the wife's car. But I brought a pair of trail shoes because I don't know if the ultra that I'm doing, it's got a massive information pack that they send you, but nowhere on the information pack does it say whether it's going to be off-road, on-road, mixture, both, like, nothing. So I brought, I brought a pair of trainers, okay? I brought the Nike Juniper Trail shoes, all right? And I have been breaking them in, hence this video here. Welcome in. and I've done a few runs in them so far and there is yeah there's pros and cons so ugh. as you can see they're very sandy okay very dirty because I have literally just finished a 13k run across some trails all right now as you can see they're nice nice trainers all right and you don't know me, but I'm a trainer guy. I have absolutely loads. So I'm just starting my running tra my running trainer collection. All right. But we're going to start off. As you can see at the bottom, okay, the tread on those bad boys. Okay, that's a pro. A pro. All right. That's a very big pro. Now, okay, the, they, don't have, they don't have a plate at the bottom, okay, for when it comes down to... Obviously, stepping over rocks and that sort of stuff because some trail trainers do have a plate underneath, all right, to kind of protect your foot. These ones don't. Um, but that being said, they can't exactly feel every every single stone, okay, that you tread on, all right. Obviously, if you go over sharp rocks, you're going to feel it, but, but these ones are perfectly fine. They, the only negative that I can really say about these, all right, is. The sheer amount of cushion on them. All right, now that is still quite a bit of cushion, to be fair. Okay, that is still quite a bit of cushion. But I'm a north of ninety kilo runner. I'm not the smallest guy, hence why I'm a hybrid athlete. I love lifting weights, but I'm a heavy guy, so I need cushion underneath my feet. But that being said. They're still good trainers, all right? That being said, they're still good trainers. So, guys, these cost me 65 pound. That's it, 65 quid, all right, for a pair of decent trail trainers. Now, these are probably going to be what I'm racing in the end because I can still run with these on road and I can also run with them cross country. So these are probably going to be what I'm racing. I'm going to upload a video that breaks down all the kit that I've purchased, okay? That's gonna be the next one on this um, playlist, okay? Leading up to the Ultra, all right? But I just thought I'd break in, just tell you what trainers I'm using, okay? I'm a big trainer guy. I might do some more videos about what trainers I actually have. Um, but no Juniper trail shoes, if you're looking for a nice, decent pair of running shoes. And yeah, give them a go. On to the next topic, because we're a month out, we are starting to try some foods, okay? Now, 
I've never been a strict routine person when it comes down to my food in and around training. I eat what I want to and nine times out of ten I try to make it as enjoyable as possible. But we're going to start to get into a routine now, um, trying to find things that disagree with the stomach, trying to find things that agree with the stomach um, and then we go from there. So like this video here. Yo, what are you saying guys? So. We are out. Oof, we are an hour, an hour and ten minutes into a trail run. I am about eight and a half k in, coming on nine k. Nice and slow, nice and steady. But <coughs> I am testing and trialing foods to see what agrees with my stomach on these uh, long distance runs so we've got a bagel thin with peanut butter honey and banana which is absolutely fire so I ate one before I started running I'm gonna eat half of this one now and then eat the other half in about another 45 minutes so just try and error right now to see what works see what doesn't work and then we go from there let's go okay obviously i've tried peanut butter honey and banana bagels pre and during this 13k run all right i didn't eat, i didn't obviously like the videos a lot of video says i didn't eat a lot of it but it sat well in my stomach, okay. It didn't make me need a shit, my my French, okay. I didn't need I didn't need to go to the bathroom, okay. If you want me to be polite, okay. But it worked during this run. This one was one of my shorter runs, so I do a long-ish slash short-ish trail run at the start of the week, okay. I have a challenge specific run on a Thursday midweek okay so that could be something along the lines of just straight hill work which is what I've got this Thursday and then on Saturday I have got my long distance run okay so on a Saturday I'll run either on the road or on the canal and it's a longer distance run which means I'll get more food in on a Saturday morning when I can really really test the bagel, the peanut butter and that sort of stuff, okay? And maybe for all the little sweet treats along the way. Just to see what agrees with my stomach. But that's just an update on everything that's happening. I'm a month out, okay? And I'm looking forward to it. Everything's going smoothly, no problems as of yet, apart from I had a chest infection that knocked me out for like three weeks. Um, but other than that, nothing crazy. I still try to run. Managed a few little runs here and there, but wasn't the best. And yeah, so we're in one fight, guys. Stay tuned. More videos coming. And we go from there. Peace.